Hi guys welcome. Today we're gonna talk about the typical starting system of a motorcycle. The starting system main components are, DC starter motor, starter solenoid, and the battery. With the invention of the battery, DC starter motor quickly gained popularity among bikers, because they don't have to endure the pain of kick starting. Now, DC starter motors are slowly being replaced by ACG or alternating current generator which are more quieter than a typical DC starter motor. Modern starter motors use permanent magnets instead of field of coils to create a magnetic field, because they are more compact and lightweight. The concept is very simple. Magnets repel when the same poles meet. And magnets attract when the opposite poles meet. When current from the battery is applied to the commutator via carbon brushes, the coil wires on the armature become electromagnets with poles. The permanent magnet's poles repel the same, and attracts opposite poles on the armature's electromagnet, thus the starter motor rotates, and continue to rotate if there's current applied to it. Then the starter motor engages the engine's flywheel via Bendix drive or set of gears, the engine turns and it eventually starts. The starter solenoid is added to the starting system of a motorcycle because the starter motor on any motorcycle draws massive amount of amperage in the electrical system. In addition, the main function of a starter solenoid is to connect the battery's positive terminal directly to the starter motor. A solenoid is like a relay with steroids, they perform the same task but the starter solenoid is heavy duty. When you push the starter button on the right handlebar, the solenoid energize a low amperage coil of wire, these coil of wire produce a strong magnetic field pushing the plunger upward and connects the high amperage terminals of the solenoid, the contact of these terminal allow the current from the battery's positive terminal to flow to the starter motor, causing the starter to engage the engine's flywheel. This is a typical setup of starting system. The wiring color coding shown in this illustration is for Honda and Chinese motorcycle, other brand uses different wiring color coding but the function is still the same. A thin red wire connects the battery's positive terminal to the main switch, if the main switch is in the on position, the current from the red wire flows to the accessory wire, black wire. In addition, the red wire is connected to a 10 amps fuse before going to the main switch and regulator red wire. A thick red wire connects the high amperage terminal of the solenoid to the positive terminal of the battery, the other thick wire is connected to the starter motor. The starter motor is bolted on the engine so it has a ground connection. The solenoid trigger wires require a positive and negative connection. As a safety feature, starting the motorcycle requires the brake to be engaged. When you engage the front brake, normally open switch, or the rear brake, normally close switch, the current from the accessory wire, transfer it to the green with yellow stripes, which is connected to the brake light and to the starter switch button. When you push the starter switch button while engaging the brakes, current from the green with yellow stripes wire, transfer them to the positive trigger pole of the solenoid which is colored red with yellow stripes. Then the starter turns on and start the engine. The negative trigger terminal is connected to ground, which is colored green. Operation of normally open switch and normally close switch. Normally close switch is the switch on the rear brake, this switch is the same as a normal switch, when you step on the rear brake, the switch is pulled by a spring and turns on the brake light and supply the starter push button positive connection. Normally open switch is the switch on the front brake lever, this switch is the reverse of a normal switch, when you engage the front brake, the switch button is release and then allows current to flow. When you release the lever, the button is press, hence, there's no current going to the brake light and starter push button. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.